hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is debbie on this channel i share sewing tutorials pattern making ideas and tips and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please 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 ensure you subscribe right now and don't forget click the notification bell such that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first to be notified right i actually received a dm from fumi fumi hi you were asking me the reason my bra cup is usually bigger than the one you buy from the market probably you tried one of the tutorial i posted i think early last year on corset pattern okay i actually used um a natalie bray um basic bodice block I, I just wanted to try it just to know the outcome and that was the reason for that video so probably she tried it and she discovered that the bra cup she got from that pattern was actually bigger or probably wider than the one she bought from the market and she wants to know why so this is the reason i am making this video and i also tried my best to start drafting from the scratch because i don't want you to major too much on that particular video so i want you i want you to learn it from the scratch and at the end of the video i'll be explaining to you the differences between the two and also the similarities as well if you know that this video is actually for you then let's get started This is my pattern and from here which is my bust point i am measuring four inches as my bust radius and here i have my on the bust line so from the bust point up four inches and the, from the bust point down to the on the bust line is four inches okay so here i will just come down by 0 0.5 in inch and from the center front i will come in by um, 0 0.5 here I'm going up by one inch and I'm going to just connect with a curve Here I will come out from the outer that leg or outer, outer that line by 1.25 and the other side 0 0.5 as shown and of course you can um, measure equally okay so here I'm connecting with the curve And I'm going to connect back to the waist line. And I have this and here I'm just going to highlight the bust point line. Okay. So um, I'm going to just clean this. I'm supposed to measure 0 0.5 from the center front inward on the on the bust line and now I am connecting to have a straight line so I'll connect to this nipple point line with a curve from the under bust line and here I'm going to contour a bit more by measuring half inch on both sides of the line of the middle line as shown okay so and i'm going to just extend the that line bust pan line to the hip line as shown so i'm just labeling it my waistline 
my underboss line and so on and so forth okay so now i'm cutting and i have my yoke i have my yoke so i'll just keep it aside and here i'm cutting out so from the side seam line i'm going to be measuring 1.5 inches inward okay so now i'm just closing the darts the side that or the bust that so here i'm going to just connect 1.5 inches in from the side seam line can you see what i am saying all right so this is what i have i will raise this line because i do not need it i just drew the line that way for reference point okay now i'm going to cut it off so guys this is my pattern i hope you understand how i was able to arrive at this pattern and here i have 1.25 from the outer that leg and i have half an inch here so if it's a corset you can just take the same amount of measurements on this side and on this side so if you are taking like three quarter then take three quarter here take three quarter here okay so and you can also do it this way as well but because you have to consider when you'll be joining the pieces together okay so from here to this point this curve line is definitely going to be okay a bit lower in terms of measurements than this you know the curvier the line is the higher the uh, measurements is going to give at the end of the day okay so this covid line is quarter of an inch higher in terms of measurement now using my tape measure than this okay and the same thing happens to this side as well okay this curve line so this curve line is 0 0.25 which is quarter of an inch higher sorry lower than this because you can see that this side is curvier than this side right and um, this side is a bit higher okay than here as well so i'm done with this pattern right now so i'm going to just cut i just want us to see the outcome because some people are saying oh it has to be the same thing it has to be the same thing on the bust line if it's a corset and all of that it's not an ordinary bust here so let's just you know take a look at the end result the end result is what i'm after right so now let me just label this point as my hip line hip line and hip line okay so i'm going to cut so please ensure that every um pointed edge is you know um blended well If you don't want to go the route of a corset, you can just place it on your fabric this way and just cut it out, okay? So can you see? So I'm going to trim out this part. So this is what I have. So this space is a bit flat. So I'm going to just do something on that side. So you can use it this way. So this is it. Can you see? This is how it's going to be. So this is it. So you, you, I can just cut this off. So this is the center front. CF. Okay. And this is the side, side front. 
okay so this is for the cf side okay and this is for the side I will just start from here. I can draw it anyhow I want. So I want to make this place to be the same thing. This is my four. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Okay. I have this as well. want to join on you know using a zigzag stitch all you need to do place it this way okay or you place this one on it whichever one so the half inch allowance here plus the half inch allowance here so you just place the half inch allowance here on top of the half inch allowance here and you continue to stitch it and as you're stitching you know you'll be using your leg to you know move the machine or operate the machine so you don't have any business using this hand to roll it okay so it's just your leg you'll be using to control the machine so as you are moving the machine you know you just continue to bring the two close together close together close together until you are able to finish up all right so that's what you would do so you do this first then once these two are well joined properly then you can now start so if you if you don't want to be if you don't want to, probably if you're a beginner then i would just advise you pin first okay so if it's something that could confuse you please pin it there's nothing stopping you from pinning and this is what you have okay so once you are done with this then you pin this and you stitch so you pin this first then you come here you do the pinning okay 
then you continue pinning. If you also don't want to get confused more and more, then you can just measure your half inch with your pencil and just highlight it here. So then you can place this on the line, okay? So as to be very sure that you are indeed using your seam allowance, half inch seam allowance, okay? This is what we have, okay? Well, you know, this is almost at my chest and the chest is flat. So it's very normal for this side to be, to be flat, okay? So because this is not a short cup on like this, can you see? You can see this is the bust point. So from here to here, just very little, can you see? So, and that's why it's looking this way. So usually it's supposed to be something, this is size 44, 45. So you, can you see what I have? Okay, but I don't want it that way. I want it covered up. So if you're a bust, bust size, or sorry, a plus size, and you want, you want to still look beautiful, and you want, you want your bust to still be covered while wearing a corset, then this video is for you. Can you see? So this is why it's looking as if is not poppy. Can you see? Can you see? This is it. So, this place is very firm. This is no, this place is not gaping. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? So this is it. Can you see? No gaping at all. But for a plus size, you can make it longer. And that's why this place, this side is looking flat. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.